anytime someone betrays you and you experience that betrayal, it is going to sting. It's going to hurt and it's going to cut deep. But what about when you experience betrayal, confusion, and deception all at once? We're talking about when you are cheated with, not on. I mean, in a sense, you're cheated on too because you've been lied to. But let's talk more about that. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic narcissistic people in your life. Has anyone out there experienced being the other person, the other woman, the other man and not knowing it? Being in a situation where you think you're with someone or you meet someone and you don't have any idea that they are using you and lying to someone else about your existence. This is more common than you think you guys and this can happen in so many more situations than you even realize. Narcissistic people are always on the hunt for supply. They are always out there seeking more and more. Many of them are serial cheaters. So, I mean, maybe they're secretly married or maybe the other person has a girlfriend or a boyfriend already in their life. Or maybe they are with you, whether it be consensual or non-consensual, and later on you find out they have this whole life with a family and another person. Maybe they're lying to you about where they are all the time because in truth, they have one, two, three, maybe four or more other people that they're doing the same thing to. I think more than half of the people that I speak to in coaching have had this experience at least once with the narcissistic person that they're coming to talk to me about. Betrayal in this way is so confusing because not only are you left with the feelings of betrayal, which can be anything from sadness and grief to anger to feelings of low self-worth and confusion, but there's this added piece that, that you were somehow part of their cheating on someone else. A lot of people feel guilt, they feel shame, they feel conflicted, they have been lied to sometimes about the person's actual life. And so when they find out about it, it's surreal and shocking. But sometimes that person who is being cheated with and on, right, is scapegoated because if the wife or husband finds out, then they blame you. Narcissistic people aren't going to take the blame. So if their partner finds out about you, you can bet that they're going to push the blame back onto you so that their partner is then coming after you and they're escaping accountability in their life with them. This is a form of triangulation. This is a narcissist game. They love the fact that other people can be pitted against each other. They love the fact that they can control and use you for whatever they want to control and use you for and get away with it. Have you experienced this where you come to find out that the person you're with or that you know has a whole other life that you didn't know about? Let me know in the comments. This is a whole nother level of being cheated on. You're not, because, because you're not only being cheated on, but you are the source of that narcissist cheating on someone else. So you're being cheated with. That is a conflicting thing because most people don't want to be either of those things, right? You're not consensually agreeing to join them in cheating on the other person. You are being lied to on multiple levels. Nothing in the situation is honest. And yet at the same time, you're being love bombed so hard that you are confused about the who this person actually is that could do such a thing. A lot of people start justifying and making excuses and thinking things like, well, it must be really bad at home or it must be really terrible for them and that's why they did this. Why would someone do this unless they really loved me? The truth is narcissistic people will do this because this is what narcissistic people do. As I said before, it's not only the cheating and it's not only the supply, but it's the thrill they get from the triangulation and from knowing that they have conflicting lives in two different places, they like to sneak. They like to hide things and they like to get away with things. 